Our founder, Susan Alderman, started the organization about 40 years ago in Brooklyn, New York on her own, just rescuing animals and bringing them into her home and taking care of them. Uh, she relocated to Las Cruces in 2004. I followed in 2008. Our organization is called Broken Promises Southwest because when you take an animal into your home, people do so, like you promise to take care of the animal, you promise to care for them for their entire life. And then so many people renege on that promise. So we're here to pick up with, where people have broken their promises to their companion animals and, and to the ones they're caring for. So we're here to, to take care of that. We started our organization in our sanctuary and uh, in the past three years we've neutered over 500 animals and cut down on the population. There's a small three-person organization that works primarily to trap, neuter, return feral cats, to cut down on the overpopulation problem and reduce the number of animals being taken into the local shelter. 90% of the animals that we trap are feral, they're unsocialized, they can't be handled by people, they don't really want to live next to people. The services that Broken Promises provides are trap, neuter, return services. Community members will give us a call or send us an email or a Facebook message uh, asking for help in neutering their feral cats. We'll come out, set a couple of traps, take care of that and bring the cats back once they're spayed, neutered, vaccinated, microchipped, and ear tipped. The top of their ear is cut off as a little identifier. So when we have several cats that kind of look the same, we know which ones have been done by the cut on their ear. And they're no longer a problem in the community after we take care of that. To receive services from Broken Promises Southwest, all someone has to do is give us a call and promise to take care of the animals that they're feeding. Uh, we are more than happy to come out and spay, neuter, vaccinate, microchip uh, any feral cats. We will spay and neuter household animals also if, if the families can't afford it. Uh, just continue caring for them and we'll help you out if you help them. We think we're having a very good impact on the area. In the past three years, we've neutered over 500 animals. Uh, when you're talking cats at uh, an average of five kittens per litter, Right there, that's 2,500 kittens that haven't been born. Uh, so many calls are made to animal control to trap cats and bring them to the local shelter where they're killed. Uh, we've seen in the past couple of years shelter intake numbers coming down. So between our organization and others in the community, we're making an impact. The best way to explain that is to show them that, hey, you know, we're neutering 10 cats. Yeah, there are still 10 cats here, but there are only 10 cats here now. You know, you're not seeing 40, 50, you're not seeing 10 litters of kittens anymore. You know, you're not seeing others wandering into the neighborhood and starting fights. You know, the cats tend to be territorial. They stick to themselves, they keep outsiders away. Best thing you can do for a local community is tee other feral cats. Please spay and neuter your animals. Please make sure that everyone in your home, everyone living outside and around your house is spayed and neutered. There is a terrible overpopulation problem in Las Cruces and Doñana County where thousands of animals are killed in the county shelter every year. And that's all because people either breed intentionally or they breed unintentionally by feeding a stray cat and those kittens growing up and causing problems elsewhere. If you need help doing that, there are resources around the community that can do that for you. We started the Facebook page. People can get in touch with us there. Uh, they can give us a call. It's 575-680-1955. Send us an email, brokenpromisessw at comcast.net. We'll talk. We'll see what we can do for you. The smiles and the thank yous from the caregivers who, who were kind of at their wits end and didn't really know what to do. So it's, it's a win-win-win. You're helping people. You're helping animals. You're helping the community. It's terrific. It's a great program.